Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. Hope you all are doing good. Now today's topic which I am going to take is on service now. And today we will see two very important aspects of you know any application. The UI, uh, sorry, UI policies and UI actions. So these are the two aspects of service now today which we will see like uh, how we define a UI policy, how we define a UI action. So I know it will be uh, difficult for you to understand at the first level if you are new to ServiceNow, but I'll explain you the scenario, what exactly we need and then how we achieve it. This is what we, we are going to see today. So uh, here if you see currently, uh, let me take the example of again uh, the form which we had seen in the previous videos. So this is my form. Now uh, for my, uh, let's suppose for example, I have this field here, leave type, okay. So now if I'm selecting the sick leave, I want, uh, you know, uh, um, attachment to be added. You know that when you, when we apply for a sick leave, normally we are asked to provide the medical report. So now I have to add a field. So that uh, field for, uh, sorry, I need to add a field here in my application as a, uh, you know, uh, attachment, but the requirement is that this attachment field should only be visible for sick leave. It should not be visible for annual leave. So let's suppose, uh, let's go with the first step. So we will go in the design as we have seen earlier. Form design, we will go, not layout. So let me go to the form design. I think I'm already there. Okay. So now what I will do, let me add an attachment field first okay so uh, because this uh, we need to provide an attachment field let me see attachments okay. so this is a file attachment field so i will add it after the leave type field okay and now i will rename this field so let me rename this to medical report okay i'll not make any other changes okay i will keep it as it is then i will save it so what will happen now for my uh, view on that particular form for this default view which we are using let me refresh it let me reload this so every time uh, when you open this form you will see that uh, this particular field is available there. For example, this medical report field, I need to add some, I will click here and then I can choose a file. But the problem is that this field report, medical report, I need it only when I select the sick leave. But by default, it is visible for every request. If I open a new request, this will be visible here. So I do not want this to be available for annual leave. I do not want this to be available for some other option like other leave. I should only get this when the sick leave is uh, selected here. So now to achieve this, there are two concepts of service now which we will learn today. That is UI policies and UI actions. So UI policies are you define a particular policy and then pertaining to that policy, you take an action. So let's uh, first of all see how we will define a policy, okay? So now um, let me go here, sorry, let me right click, configure. So I can, uh, you know, go to the policies directly from here. So if you say configure, sorry, right click here, configure, and then you can go directly to UI policies. I would say leave. So it will take me to a form where there it will show me all the UI policies which have been defined for this form. Currently there isn't anything, so it is not displaying anything. So what I will do, I will click on the new. Now it will open up a form for me. So this is a new record for uh, UI policy. As you can read in the description, it is mentioned that you can define a UI policy and then based on the UI policy, you can define the UI actions. So let me give you a, uh, just a short description of the policy at uh, enable Enable, disable, this is as per your convenience, you can give this description, medical 
रिपोर्ट फील्ड ओके आई कैन गिव इट लाइक दिस ऑल्सो दर इज नो प्रॉब्लम स्पेस ओके नाउ आई हैव टू देर आर टू थिंग्स हियर वन इज लाइक you can also write a script this is an advanced feature we will not go here so we will say we will use the basic what is given in the uh, you know service now so here i can uh, add a condition if i click on this so i can define uh, that this policy should be based on particular condition but that i do not want so uh, i have to select you know i can select here um a condition based on which this uh, policy should work so what i will do here i will select my uh, where is my attachment okay this one this is my sorry i think i had already added one so this is is no sorry not this one wait wait my bad so i will say when uh, leave 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 type is sick leave okay this is the only thing i will select so when i will need to um, now these are the options you have you, you want to make this policy global so it can be it applies to all the form views otherwise if you uncheck this you have to define the view on which this form should be executed then on load means when the form is loaded that time it should run or you have to define some other condition by default we will say on load of the form okay and um, we'll keep this as uh, checked as of now then uh, the table uh, the other option is table that extends a specific table inheritance this policy so if you if there is any other table which is inherit, uh, inherited from the uh, the table then you want to uh, you know inherit the policy itself so that this will we will not touch okay because we have to just check a basic thing so so reverse if false means if the condition is not satisfied it will reverse it. we will see how this will work okay as of now i haven't done anything i have selected leave type is sick leave i will submit this okay now this is my uh, uh, policy i have defined a ui policy okay uh, let, let's first of all uh, define the actions okay now if i open it again i have defined it <coughs> now here is there is a section added called ui actions okay now this is my policy leave type is sick leave so this is my when the system or when somebody will select leave type as a sick leave i have to define certain actions i need to define some actions so what i will do i will define my actions here so i will say new then here i will select the field name and here i will select my uh, this attachment field i think it is this one second one and what i need to do i need to these are the options i have mandatory you can make it true false that means it will make it mandatory true visibility you can say true or false i would say false read only you can say true or false i will not touch this so i will say field name make this visibility false so if the uh, sorry uh, if the field is uh, sorry sorry now uh, wait wait let me uh, let me save this i did a big mistake here okay let me uh, visibility should be false so i will select this medical report and visibility i will select false submit it okay now there is a big problem here what i have done earlier so here in the okay in here we have defined that uh, leave type is sick leave so then uh, and then here we have mentioned that it should make this as false so it is not like this what we need to do leave type is not sick leave fine so when leave type is not sick leave then attachment field will be made as visibility as false so this is my policy actually not like a leave type is equal to sick leave so this was my mistake so uh, i will update it okay now i have updated the policy let me see let me go back here and let me see on the new request form what is happening what we have 
achieved so currently you can see i cannot see that field there even though in the design it is there medical report field but in my uh, you know uh, leave, uh, this leave type it's not there so what i will do let me select annual leave no i'm not getting anything let me select sick leave so you will see this rip, this field is getting displayed so if i change it to other leave this is getting changed so this is how you basically do the uh, you know you define a ui policy for uh, for your form so you have multiple options you can make any field uh, visible you can hide a field you can make field read only you can make field uh, you can change uh, uh, let me go back here the policies so let me go back so you can uh, you can define your own uh, parameters so and this is basically to play around with the fields on the form if there are conditions on the form based on which you need to select fields so these are the different you know actions you have here so if i go back to actions again so these are the options i have like i need can meet some field mandatory then visibility true or false read only i would say true false if i say false it will make it read and write and currently it is left alone so it will not touch anything so this is uh, the uh, you know a basic example of defining a ui policy and then defining a ui action there is, there is more to it it's not only this one we will take that in future but this was just a basic understanding of how to define a basic uh, you know uh, policy on your form like when you are you know when you are building an application when you are defining an application there are uh, different you know you need to give different options to different people let me go back to my form so then based on that you have to define uh, different conditions so that is done here through the ui policy you define the ui how the system will look like so now you can hide any field you can define any field based on the selection here that's how you can uh, you know achieve with ui uh, you know uh, policy and ui actions we'll be taking more videos on this this was just a basic example of uh, you know basic example of ui policy in action and how you can achieve it using the out of box service now functionalities i hope you liked my video thank you thanks for watching it thank you